Alpha Chief said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who made me a judge or an arbitrator over you? He said to them, Beware. Keep yourselves from covetousness, for a man's life doesn't consist of the abundance of the things which he possesses. He spoke a parable to them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth abundantly. He reasoned within himself, saying, What will I do, because I don't have room to store my crops? He said, This is what I will do. I will pull down my barns and build bigger ones, and there I will store all my grain and my goods. I will tell my soul, Soul, you have many goods laid up for many years. Take your ease, drink, be merry. But God said to him, You foolish one, tonight the soul is required of you. The things which you have prepared, whose will they be? So is he who lays up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward God. He said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, don't be anxious for your life, what you will eat, nor yet for your body, what you will wear. Life is more than food, and the body is more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they don't sow, they don't breathe, they have no warehouse or barn, and God feeds them. How much more valuable are you for birds? Which of you by being anxious can add a cubit to his height, if then you aren't able to do even the least things? Why are you anxious about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They don't toil, neither do they spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if this is how God clothes the grass in the field, which today exists, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, how much more will he clothe you, O you of little faith? Don't seek what you will eat or what you will drink, neither be anxious. For the nations of the world seek after all of these things. But your Father knows that you need these things. But seek God's kingdom, and all these things will be added to you. Don't be afraid, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell the which you have and give gifts to the needy. Make for yourselves purses which don't grow old, a treasure in the heavens that doesn't fail, where no thief approaches, even moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning. Be like men watching for their Lord. When he returns from the marriage feast, that, when he comes and knocks, they may immediately open to him. Blessed are those servants, whom the Lord will find watching when he comes. Most certainly I tell you, that he will dress himself, and make him recline, and will come and serve them. They will be blessed if he comes in the second or third watch It'll and finds him so. But notice that if the master of the house had known in what hour the thief was coming, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore be ready also, for the Son of Man is coming in an hour that you don't expect him. Peter said to him, Lord, are you telling this parable to us or to everybody? The Lord said, Who then is the faithful and wise steward? His Lord will set over to his household to give them their portion of food at the right times. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord will find doing so when he comes. Truly I tell you that he will set to him over all that he has. But if that servant says in his heart, My Lord delays his coming, and begins to feed the men servants and the maid servants, and to eat and drink, and to be drunken. Then the Lord of that servant will come in a day when he isn't expecting him, and in an hour that he doesn't know, and will cut him in two, and place his portion with the unfaithful. That servant, who knew his Lord's will, and didn't prepare, nor do what he wanted, will be beaten with many stripes. But he who didn't know, and did things worthy of stripes, will be beaten with few stripes. To whoever much is given, of him will much be required, and to whom much was entrusted, of him all will be asked. I came to throw fire on the earth, I wish it were already kindled. But I have a baptism to be baptized, and how distressed I am until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to give peace in the earth? I tell you, no, but rather division. From now on, there will be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. They will be divided, father against son, and son against father, mother against daughter, and daughter against her mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. He said to the multitudes also, when you see a cloud rising from the west, immediately you say, a shower is coming, and so it happens. When a south wind blows, you say, there will be a scorching heat. And it happens. Here. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and the sky, but how is it that you don't interpret this time? Why don't you judge for yourselves what is right? For when you are going with your adversary before the magistrate, try diligently on the way to be released from him, lest perhaps he drag you to the judge and the judge deliver you to the officer, and the officer throw you into prison. I tell you, you will by no means get out of there until you have paid the very last penny. Chapter 13, Edit. Now there were some present at the same time who told him about the Galileans, whose blood Pilate had mixed with their sacrifices. Jesus answered them, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans, because they suffered such things. I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all perish in the same way. Although those eighteen, on whom the tower in Siloam fell, and killed them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the men who dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you, no, but, unless you repent, you will all perish in the same way. He spoke this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it, and found none. He said to the vine dresser, Behold, these three years I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and found none. Cut it down. Why does it waste the soil? He answered, Lord, leave Leave it alone this year also, until I dig around it, and fertilize it. If it bears fruit, fine, but if not, after that, you can cut it down. He was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath day. Behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity eighteen years, and she...